We are here at the Feeders Pet Supply in Middletown with Tabby McKinney, and this is Tucker right here. How adorable is he? I'm seriously kind of in love with him. I know, he's really the best. He's the most chill, laid back store cat that I've ever seen. Absolutely. Okay, now, Tabby, the holidays are coming up, and I know that there are a whole lot of things to think about, talk about when it comes to pets on the holidays. Yeah, and I think, Joanne, if you can start thinking about it early, then you'll be less stressed, and your pets will be less stressed as we approach in Christmas and New Year's Eve. Which is, yeah, such a big time, and I know a lot of people travel with their families and often their pets too. Exactly. So it's important to note that when you travel with your pet that you keep them restrained in some way. You do not want to have an accident and have a loose animal in your car. So for dogs we recommend um, harnesses or kennels and obviously for my friend Tucker here he would need to go into a kennel much like the one down here so that he would be safe and secure and he's not distracting you. Which yeah he would because he would be being super cute probably, <laughs> yeah, probably. And, and climbing around. And what about when our family comes and visits us and we have our pets at home. Yeah, so um, you know the thing I always like to talk about is keeping them calm uh, and the best way to do that is uh, lots of different ways honestly. We've got everything from calming collars to pheromone sprays, um, treats, thunder shirts, nothing like giving them a nice big hug to calm them down. Um, that's just one step that you can do to kind of help just ease their tension as we have people coming into our homes. The other thing you can do is give them a safe space. Tucker here would probably like to have the spare bathroom bathroom or bedroom all to himself if there's a whole lot going on. Just make sure you give them the essentials. So for Tucker, we'd need litter box, food, water for your dog. Same kind of situation. Absolutely. I think for me in the past when I've had dogs, it's been when they've suddenly been around little kids and they're not used to all of that. Oh, most definitely. Little kids and just a whole lot of people in general. New things can be quite scary. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about, we all love like hol holiday decorations and all this stuff, but those can be a little dangerous too. Yeah, so as we get our Christmas trees out, we need to remember that we want to keep uh, glass ornaments high up on the tree. The tuckers of the world are going to want to try to play with them because he's going to think they're a toy and we don't want him to get hurt from breaking it. Also, I would really recommend not using tinsel on the tree. If you think about it, a lot of cat toys in particular are made out of that same material and you don't want him to eat it and then end up at the vet's office. And what about too with lights? I know that cats sometimes will like to <laughs> chew through some Christmas yeah, lights. Yeah, if you know you have a cat that's a chewer, probably better to stay away from the Christmas lights. And while we talk about lights, candles too. Uh, you don't want to have a bunch of, bunch of lit candles on your table and then have Mr. Tucker get up there and catch his tail on fire. And yeah, it's like the, the cat with the glass thing, but it's a candle yeah. instead of just like <laughs> pop that over. Nobody yeah. needs that. And then also something else that's very important is uh, we love to decorate with live plants this time of year. We all love holly and mistletoe and poinsettias. Unfortunately, all of those are toxic to our friends, so if they decided to eat on it, it would make them quite sick. So let's steer, steer away from those kinds of things. Steer away from the table scraps. Um, we don't want Tucker to get fat and we don't want him to get sick. Exactly, because that's not fun. No, that's not fun not for, for anybody. And I think too, around those holidays too, there is a lot of like candies and like chocolate covered cherries. Like those are things that people leave out maybe for their guests, but like you have to really watch that. Yeah, you've got to be very careful about any kind of food product that you leave out because if it's enticing, they're going to go for it. So best to have some of your favorite treats on hand from Feeder Supply so that the Tuckers of the world can have something that's appropriate for them. Of course, and I know too, around the holidays, you're, you have different like pajamas for the dogs uh, and cats yes. and like the cutest little like present pillows. Oh and yeah, we've got everything. Um, we, we do have quite a bit of clothing and then we're gonna have plenty of, of holiday themed toys as well. That is so exciting. Well, Tabby and Tucker, thank you so much for having me today. Thanks, Joanne. From Feeders Pet Supply in Middletown, I'm Joanne Dixon.